tell you something, I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed that people could feel such, such disdain for their neighbourhood as to behave in Mr. Johnson. And so it is vital. The most important thing now is that the police uh, have the confidence of the community, that they deal robustly, robustly but fairly, uh, with the malefactors, uh, with the people who are doing this, and that they stop it happening again. Not coming back earlier, though. Well, I understand that, and that was... I we realised that this was spreading. I was, I was on the west coast of the North America. Mr. Johnson, you say you say in a safe place, but that's you, not that's not the way people are feeling at the moment. Oh, that, that's right, and, I, and that's what makes me so sad and and so angry because fundamentally this is a great city, and it is just amazing to see how a tiny minority of people in our city can let down the rest and can allow huge guys, numbers of people head. to feel intimidated and frightened when this is a wonderful place to live. And people who live in London, as I said, have privileges and freedoms that other people around the world can only dream of. And here we've got a tiny number of people abusing that privilege, abusing that freedom, abusing the kind of policing that we have in our city, and engaging in acts of no, I don't believe that there is any ideological right, um, justification for this. I think we've heard too much of the sociology and the economic background to all this. These, these are acts of wanton destruction of private property, and private property and private enterprise that actually has the capacity to regenerate the economy. It is completely self-destructive what has been happening. But we say it's a small group, but how will London possibly cope with the Olympics if something like this is allowed to happen when there isn't a big event like that? London with the Olympics and I Croydon Oh come on <laughs> Abracadabra But I'd ask everybody to remember the, the royal wedding when it felt very differently and it worked brilliantly and everything functioned perfectly. That is what we need to capture you know we've got our work cut out between now and July the 27th, 2012, when we welcome the world to London. We've got to rebuild parts of our city. We've got to repair the damage that has been done. We've got to rebuild the trust, the people and the police. But that can be done, and it will be done. What, what about the police and all this? They have been stretched, obviously, but do you accept that they fail the challenges? I look, there, there are going to be questions that are going to be asked about the police and how quickly they, how quickly they responded and all that. And in, all those, in all these questions, can I just ask, bear one in mind. Abra Kadabra. This is the place who got a Abra Kadabra. To protect. That's Harry Potter. We need them. We will encourage them, as I say, to do it robustly. To do it robustly. That's why we're increasing. Thank the you, numbers. Harry. We want... Harry. We want to see it done in accordance with uh, our ways in this country, which is basically. It's I mean, you know. what, what, have you actually, what have you actually said to police commanders about the way they should be tackling this? As you can imagine, uh, in the course of the last three days, uh, I've had loads of conversations with uh, uh, Acting Commissioner Tim Goldwyn uh, uh, and others, and you can imagine what anybody in my position would say. We want this to end. We don't understand it. We think it's outrageous. Uh, it's infuriating. We want the people who are doing this to be rounded up, we want them to feel the full force of the law, and we want them to experience punishments that they will come bitterly to regret. Uh, completely right. Anyway, thank you very much everybody for coming along today. Thank you for coming along today. And I'm, I'm very, very sorry for what you've, uh, what you've experienced, and we will, do our, we will do our utmost to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Reeves Corner. Thank you. Well, that's the Mayor. And Boris Johnson, who's just been uh, visiting the scene here, he went into this furniture factory, which is next door to the thing we can show you, which was completely burnt out in last night's violence uh, just behind me. I was speaking to the owners earlier today. The owner is an 80-year-old who said uh, he'd been celebrating his wedding anniversary when he was told about what had happened, and uh, it's talking about how it affected. That's not the only area. There are a whole row of shops that have been set on fire and ransacked, and you really do see the full effects of the, the rioting in this area. Now, well, what about tonight? Well, we've seen 
Park Police arriving here. Now, we don't know if that's because they've had intelligence and there may be further trouble later tonight or whether it's just a... Of course, as we've been hearing from the mayor, there will be thousands of extra officers on the streets tonight. But so the atmosphere here is still one, I'd say, of tension. People are still worried that the rioters may come back People and cause yet more camera, damage boy. to their community. And, uh, John, uh, Boris Johnson's visit, uh, the second high-profile visit of the day, obviously David Cameron was there earlier. Uh, uh, you say the, the atmosphere there is still very tense. Is there the anger that we've also seen in other areas there, that not enough was done to stop this from happening in the first place? About uh, why the police took so long to get here and whether there was sufficient numbers of what, them when they your did. Name, and Cameron. Course, that's something that's been replicated in many of these areas which have been hit by the rioting. Uh, for example, when we saw the, the flames shooting out of this building, it took a long time before the fire crews could get here and, even, and by the time they were here the temperatures were so intense that uh, they had to just let the, the, burn, the building burn and it was the same with the, the police response. Many people thought it was just far too long that rioters were allowed down the high street picking their way through the shops, looting them, setting fire to them and uh, what will of course be interesting is whether these thousands of extra police officers tonight will make a difference. Because the problem is, as I say, predicting the areas where it'll happen. Because tonight, if it happens, it may be somewhere else entirely. The police clean them up to get to those areas. I must apologise uh, for the, the bits of break up uh, during that interview, but uh, Don Brain, in Croydon, uh, many thanks. Now, West Bromwich.